On today's video, we're going to look over the housing market stats, trends, and anything that's happening that I think is interesting for Toronto so far in 2021. My name is Tom Story. I'm the team leader of the Story team, and we sell real estate in Toronto. And on today's episode, what we're going to break down is every housing segment, what's going on, why it's happening, and then look at certain trends that we're seeing right now in the market and break them down to figure out what it actually means for you. But just before that, if you like real estate and educational content for the city of Toronto, feel free to subscribe and like this video. It definitely helps out the channel. Okay, so let's just call it what it is. Uh, January was insane. Nobody saw this coming. Nobody, I'm telling you, if they said they saw it coming, they're lying to you. Nobody saw this type of start to the year. We thought it would be a busy year for freehold properties and we thought condos would maybe make a comeback, but it would take a few months. Everything happened right away. So the year over year stats for just the average sale price in the city of Toronto for the GTA was up 15%. We're up over $950,000 average now. If you look at detached homes in the 416 area code, you're sitting at 1.5, semis are at 1.2, townhouses are over 800,000 and condos are about $625,000. So every asset class was up year over year, except for condos. And I wanna let you know why the condos being down 8% year over year actually doesn't mean anything right now. And it's a very deceiving number. So first let's look at the freehold market. Now what you're gonna hear from myself and the media and anyone you talk to is, well, there's just no homes available and there's a lot of buyers. We have low inventory. And while that's true, what's interesting is inventory was actually up 20% year over year, but the amount of sales were up 50%. So it's not just necessarily how many homes come to the market, it's how quick they are selling. So the amount of demand that we had in January was two to three times larger than what we are used to because inventory is always low to start the year. We just don't normally have this many buyers out there and looking. I think 2020 put a lot of things in perspective for people. And a lot of people actually sat at home and didn't spend money on things. They've been saving for a down payment. So that's pushing the market. And what's interesting right now is that a lot of the sales happening, the demand is fueled by end users, people, local people that are actually going to live there. It's not just investors. And our immigration right now is at about 40% capacity. When the borders open, like giddy up, it's going to get even crazier. So this isn't going to last forever. More inventory will come. But when you're hearing on the news, 10, 20, 15, 30 offers on a house it's happening but i would say most of it's actually happening in the suburbs market because you can get more for your money there's a lot of demand where the city of toronto is very competitive again but not as competitive as guelph or milton or hamilton they're definitely seeing it worse right now in terms of demand and i want to mention too this is kind of all relative so when markets go up or down if you are exiting the market, you are selling right now and you're cashing out, this is a great opportunity for you. Go nuts, get your money and run. Because if you're selling your property and you sell for a great price, higher than you thought you'd get, but then you have to go buy a property in the same market and it's just as competitive. So then you gotta buy high. So it is kind of relative with any gains or losses that we see in the market, unless you are cashing out or, and I feel for you, the first time home buyers are having a struggle right now. If you're a first time home buyer, just be patient, be calculated. It always works out the way it should. And it's gonna take a few offers. That's just the reality of the market that we're in. So let's wrap this up by focusing quickly in on the condo market. So last year in 2020, condos were down between 10 and 12%, depending on the area that you lived in. And this happened from February until October. They stopped going down in October. So that was the bottom of the market. If you want to buy a condo, October was the lowest that it was going to be. It then went up in November and then inventory got cut in half in December, meaning that all the listings that didn't sell came off the market, but they didn't come back to the market in early 2021, like a lot of us thought they would. So nobody anticipated that the condo market would have bounced back this quickly. I thought it would be a good year, but I definitely didn't think it would happen in a month. We went from a buyer's market to a seller's market in like 30 days, which is just not normal. I think condo growth will continue this year. I think that the gap between condos and houses got really big last year as houses went up 10 to 15% and condos went down 10%. So the price gap got larger and now condos are looking very attractive to a lot of buyers in the market. So I did a deep dive into the numbers that came out in January. I wanna share a few fun facts that you probably won't hear anywhere else. So detached properties made up 40% of all the homes that sold in January. 
78% of condo sales that happen in January happen between 400 and $700,000. So 80% of the market is trading in a $300,000 price gap. Sales over $2 million or the luxury market represented 4.7% of all the transactions that happened in January, 2021. So there you go. That's what happened so far in 2021. I hope you found that valuable. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you'd like to book an appointment with me, you can go into the description and book a call or a buyer or seller consultation. We do specialize in the Toronto market. Thank you for watching. And remember, home is where your story begins.